Hi everyone. If you're thinking about buying a home, I've got a great video for you today. I'm going to cover the home buying process and the steps involved in buying a home. I'm Jeff Gould, a real estate broker in the Tampa, Florida area. Please join me for a few minutes as I go through the home buying process. Feel free to read the complete blog post by clicking the link below. All right, let's jump in. The first step in buying a home is deciding whether or not you want to buy a home. There's a lot of financial advantages to buying a home. There's also a lot of responsibility to buying a home. So you've decided to buy a home. What's the next step? Step number two would be getting pre-approved. In my opinion, this is the most important step of the whole process here. Get a pre-approval. Don't get a pre-qualification if you can. A pre-approval takes it a couple steps further and allows the lender to look deep into what your credit history is and verify some financial information and things like that. It'll give you a better understanding of what you can really afford. After you get pre-approved and have an idea of what you can afford, choose a location. All right, it could be something as simple as, hey, I want Tampa, Florida, or I want a specific community in Tampa, Florida. So the next thing on the list is choosing a realtor. Realtors are generally paid by the seller. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but the seller pays the listing agent and the seller pays the buyer agent. So do yourself a favor, find a local expert. Don't just settle for the first agent that you come across. And I've seen people use their aunt who sells one house or two houses a year or a friend. Do you for, Really, do yourself a favor. Get the best in the area. It's going to help you. They're going to know the area. They're going to know the comparables. They're going to know basically what you're looking for and what type of house to put you in. Once you find your realtor, they're probably going to do a consultation with you. They're going to figure out what you're looking for, what your needs are, what your wants are. Do you want a great school? Are you looking for a master plan community? Do you want to be on the water? All those different things. They're going to find you what you're looking for. From there, they're going to set up probably an MLS search for you, which is multiple listings. And they will, from there, email you listings that are probably going to be a broad range of what you're looking for. From there, you'll choose different homes. You'll go out and you'll see these homes. And at some point, make a decision on a home that you really fell in love with. So you found your dream home. Now what? Well, you make an offer. We are currently in a seller's market. So homes that are priced well and are in good shape are selling really fast. So make an offer that is competitive. This is where your great realtor is going to come in. They're going to know the comps of the area. They're going to know what these houses are worth. Don't lowball an offer. It doesn't do you any good. Make a competitive offer. Your realtor will get together with you. You'll cover the comparables. And from there, you make an educated offer on what is best likely to get you the home you want to be in. So you make an offer. Now it's accepted. Woohoo! Now what? Now you get ready to close. There's a bunch of different steps in the closing process. And in my next video, I'm going to cover in detail what you go through. But the closing process has a few things, right? You want to get your house inspected. You need to start your mortgage process. And then you need to prepare to close, right? So you got to get a mover together. You have to prepare your utilities, all that stuff. So that's all part of the preparing to close. Closing on the home, completely different animal. To close on your home, and in different areas, it's called different things, right? So in Florida, we talk about closings and not escrow and that kind of stuff. So closing on your home is basically done in Florida the majority of the time by a title company. We generally don't use attorneys. Nothing wrong with using attorneys. You're more than welcome to choose an attorney if you want. But keep in mind that general practice in Florida is that the seller chooses title unless the buyer wants to pay for title insurance, right? So you're typically going to close at a title company or an attorney if the seller chooses that particular avenue. So you go into the title company, you'll need a couple things, right? You're going to need a photo ID and you're going to need to probably have your funds wired in advance to the title company for closing. Be prepared, warm up your hands. There's a lot of stuff to sign, especially if you're getting a mortgage. The closing process 
takes at the title company anywhere from a half hour to two hours, depending on what you're doing and how in-depth you look at the forms and stuff. All right, so you've gotten through the title company. The lender has wired the funds. You are closed. Congratulations. Well, there you go. I hope you found this brief home buying process helpful. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I do try to answer them all personally. Or feel free to click the link below and go to the blog post that has a lot more information and links to other real estate tips and articles. Next week, I'm going to discuss the closing process in detail. So please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the video. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with others so they can benefit from it as well. Once again, I'm Jeff Gould. I hope to connect with you soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.